Today, by request, I'm going to be showing you guys how I've been editing my Instagram pictures. They're already edited and I'm going to revert them back to their original photo so that I can show you how I got them to these edited versions. We gon' walk it out and move I won't dance And I rise up I'll rise like the day I rise Hi guys, it's Chelsea from Teaching in Pearls and welcome back to my channel. Today, by request, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I've been editing my Instagram pictures to get the, you know, like bright, colorful theme that I've been going with. I think editing for Instagram and making Instagram themes is so fun. Like I just enjoy doing it. So here's my tutorial on how I'm getting such a bright theme on my Instagram. Okay, so just to make it easier, I already put four photos in a little album called How I Edit. Here they're already edited and I'm gonna revert them back to their original photo so that I can show you how I got them to these edited versions. And I tried to pick um, photos that had like different lighting, like one outside, one inside a random brewery, um, one at my pool, and the other one is in my living room, which has pretty like orange lighting. So they're all in this little album. And this is the first step that I do with pictures is I use the automatic tool with your iPhone photos and then I crop them to whatever shape. Um, this one I decided to do square because as you saw, there was like a lot of brick in it and I just sort of propped up my timer and used my Apple Watch to take the picture, so I couldn't be that good with the angle, so I cropped out a lot of that. This one, I'm pretty much going to keep the same shape and just crop out some of the like car situation going on. I don't care enough to like worry about that truck behind me or anything, so I just don't, I don't know, I don't take it <laughs> that seriously. I just like editing because it's fun. Um, this one I'm going to make square because there's just a lot of blank stuff at the top and bottom. And I used that automatic tool which sort of brightened it a little bit. This is that Mad Tree Brewery by the way. I don't know if, you've, if you live in the Cincinnati area and you haven't been there, you need to make that a priority. <laughs> and this one is just sort of off center. Like I said, I pretty much use a timer for all of these except for the one that is outside. My mom took that one. Um, but yeah, just cropped it so that I'm more centered. And now I'm going to take the pictures and edit them in Snapseed. That's going to be my first step. Snapseed's really fun and there's a lot of different options, but I'll show you the ones that I've been using. So you just open the picture. I have them all saved in this little album. First, I'm going to start with the pool photo. Choose, I choose the pop feature, so I just click it and it applies those things. Then I choose the tools and I brighten it. And then I'm going to hire the ambiance. I actually don't really know what ambiance does, but it makes it a lot brighter and like more saturated. Then I'll save that and it actually will modify the original picture in my photos album. Then I'm going to go to the next picture, which is the outside one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'll use pop. Then I'm going to brighten it. Do, do, do. And then I'm going to raise the ambiance on it and modify that picture. So it saves it for me, which is nice. And it takes up less room in your camera because you're saving it to the original and not like a new picture. And I accidentally clicked on the wrong album. <laughs> now to the brewery picture, same thing, pop. Which just makes it pop. And tune image, brightness, and ambiance. Fabulous. I'm going to save that one. And last but not least, this picture with the Ray Dunn stuff. No, I'm not a hoarder. I gave those away in a giveaway. <laughs> Although I wanted to keep them all. Brightness up and ambiance up. And I'm finally done with that step. Yay! Okay, we're done with Snapseed. And as you see, this doesn't really take me long. This whole video is like six minutes, and that's this is more editing than I usually do. So I don't usually use Facetune, but I wanted to show you guys how I would if I did. So I'm using it on this bathing suit photo, which I didn't on my actual photo, but I like the whitening tool if I feel like my teeth are dark from the lighting or whatever, or I just drink a lot of coffee. And usually what I'll do is I'll whiten it, and then I'll put the eraser over it really quick so you can see how much it whitened it up. Now I'm using the smooth tool to get rid of some of my like 
wrinkly skin um, and some of my freckles and stuff. I don't really use this typically, but I'm just showing you how well it works. And I like to use that little blue button at the bottom to see like the difference in what it looked like before and after. And like I said, usually when I use one of these tools, I'll use the erase feature so that it's not as harsh. So I don't erase the whole thing, just like little dash, but you'll still see a little bit of a difference. So then I save that to camera roll, which does save that as a separate picture. So that one's going to be out of my little album now. Now, this is what I always do. Snapseed first, then the preview app. And preview is great because it allows you to um, make your Instagram like ahead of time, like put the pictures on the tiles and see how they'll look next to each other and stuff. So there's my four photos. And as you see, I like sort of plan out my feed, which is super, super nice. I have been using the D5 filter to get this bright theme going. So I'm pretty much just going to use the D5 filter on all of these, some of them more than others, just depending on where the lighting is. Um, the one that's outside that's really bright, I don't need much D5 at all because then I'm like washed out. But it's really nice and makes everything pop and it makes it all very bright and white. So pretty. Not me, the filter. <laughs> and then I will, um, oh, here's another feature I can do. You can click on it. Um, that's not really what I wanted. Okay, I went into the caption thing and you can write your caption out ahead of time. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, YouTube. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so I'm saving this caption. And now when I go to save the photo later on to put it on Instagram, I click the button that says save image and it copies that caption. So here I'm putting it in Instagram. And all I have to do is press paste and my caption's there. So you could write your captions way ahead of time and have them ready to go. And that is all that I've been doing. I hope that was helpful and I hope that I went slow enough and explained things well enough. If you have any questions, leave them below or always feel free to send me an email or a DM on Instagram. All that stuff is down below. But I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to see more videos similar to this but usually more teaching related. We gon' walk it out and woo.